Necesitas reír. Salutations. Let's get ready to dysentery. <sighs> it's a weird ass fucking world we live in, honestly. I don't know why I said that right off the bat, but you know, whatever. I don't even know why I'm wearing these. I'm not actually monitoring my microphone to see how it sounds right now. It's always throwing me for a loop. Like when you monitor your mic, it's got that one or two second delay, so you start talking like an I it's probably the processor I used to use. Now I got this upgraded system, I could probably do it better. But uh yeah i don't like monitoring my mic because like live because it sounds really weird so if any of this is screwed up i'm either gonna have to just drop that portion of the clip or uh reshoot the whole thing which is probably not gonna happen because i don't like reshoots on random stuff that comes out of my brain mostly because i can never remember what it actually is i'm like damn that was funny what did i say i'm gonna rewatch this oh yeah there's no fucking audio Damn it! But then again, I'm operating on an Aurora R12 instead of a eight-year-old Dell two-in-one laptop thing or whatever. Rawr. It was a great relief to realize that no one really gives a shit if I vape on live stream. And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm back on Twitter, of course, so the good voice guy on Twitter if you want to find me there, but I find I'm more of an observer now, and I just kind of just post random shit and video links, and I don't really do anything that a normal person would do on Twitter unless that is what a normal person would do on Twitter, and everyone else is just kind of crazy, but you never know. You never know. You might notice that I'm kind of running a little fast right now. That's because, uh, I have absolutely no idea what to actually talk about, but I figured I could fill seven minutes while my wife is going and getting milk. So, there's already been a lot of dead space in this audio track here, and I should probably do something about that. But, realistically, what can I do other than cut it up and cut it out, and then shorten the length of the video, and then, like, you know, a lot of people are looking at my name and they're like, your sir talks a lot, but you don't really talk a lot, even on the live streams. You just do narrations, and that's fantastic, but it does the name doesn't really fit. And I'm like, you know, I totally feel that, but I don't like interrupting people, and, you know, most of the time I don't know if what I have to say is actually relevant, because my ADD is all like, hey, I caught this word that he said, let's think about this for a second. What the fuck are we talking about? I don't remember. So then I just have to run through, like, what I did catch of the conversations, and I'm like, damn it, if I, if I would just pay attention better, you know what I mean? On that yelling at parked cars on Monday, though, I saw this fucking click, the most clickbaity article I've ever seen in my life, and it had nothing to do with, like, politics, it had nothing to do with, like, society, it had to do, it, the, the headline was... Acid spraying lobster from hell spotted in Texas. And I'm all like, damn, I could do a Frank Lee on that. And he'd be like, I'm Frank Lee, and this is an odd thing. And he would just like go at it with a lobster, and then I read it, and it's a freaking, it's called a vinegaroon. And it's like three inches long, and it sprays vinegar out of its whip-like tail or something like that. It's got pincers like a scorpion. And I'm like, this is the most disappointing fucking thing ever. You should just say, vinegar spraying little pussy bug is free in Texas. Because give me a break. At first I was all like, crikey. Texas is trying to catch up with Australia with these wild ass insects and stuff. But then it was like, well, never mind. It's just the media being clickbaity bastards. Thanks. That was on the hill, by the way. If you look at the side scroll on Comics Thing, I'm not gonna clip that and put it into this because that would just take more time. And like I said, my wife is just getting milk, so I can't really take a lot of time before I have to get back to regular life, I suppose you could say. But I am hoping that this gets more than like 
three views. You know what, let's shoot for three views, man. If we get three views, I'll be super happy. Super happy. It'll be awesome. I know my videos usually get like 20 and stuff like that, but you know, three views is a good starting point for a video. You know what I mean? I think my loyal subscribers can do that for me in like five minutes, but realistically, if we can hit three views in the first 24 hours, I'll go to Vegas this year between in August between the 11th and the 15th. Cool. I'm glad we all agreed to that, so it looks like I'm going to Vegas this August between the 11th and the 15th. It's going to be a good time, especially since I am like mortally terrified of large crowds. Uh, I really, really dislike meeting new people just because I feel awkward and I make things awkward and I'm an awkward person and it's freaking crazy. And then I get to meet all these people who like the way my voice sounds when it's not my regular voice, mind you, because my regular voice, like most people are deaf to the sound of my regular voice. So what I do most of the time is I actually change it from this, which is my regular voice, to something a little more palatable for most people. Now, some would say that this accent, that this voice, is somewhat, I don't know, sing-songy, because it changes pitch all the time, and it's like an old advertiser. But you know, I enjoy doing it, and people enjoy hearing me read articles. But I've got to go now. Until next time, have a wonderful time. Probably not how I should end this. I should probably do something along more lines of like, Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm glad that you sat through all that crazy weirdness that just sprayed out of my brain. Man. If you enjoyed this, please remember to like, subscribe, and share because you never know what's going to show up on Toxalot next. That's right. This is Corey Harrison, a.k.a. Sir Toxalot, saying, I hope you have a wonderful time.